Hey everyone, welcome! I'm Trish and you're at Trish's Creative Treasures. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all great. I am so glad you are here. Um, especially if this is your first time, double welcome to you. And extra welcome to my regulars. My OGs, those have been here following and being a part of my family. And I hope if you're new today that you're going to choose to hit that subscribe button to become a part of my family. Um, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to try to find a nickname for you all. It might be my little pirate mates, you know, cause we get our little treasures of yarn and the yarn delicious things that we make. Right? Right. So today I am here with my Hershner's haul and I got what I didn't get in my other box of my Joann's hauls. So I hope this is it of my Joann. I would think so. But anyways, like they said, they had that big yarnormous sale through Joann's. Um, so yes, I took advantage of that. And if you have not seen my first Joann's haul, um, I don't know how to link that stuff in here. I don't know how to do that. So anyways, go back in a couple videos. I think I just uploaded that one yesterday, today. I don't know. I think I uploaded that one. It wouldn't be today. it would be today for me but i don't know what day it will be for you so if you go back a couple days look for my joann's haul then you can see what all i got of the great sale that they had that was actually an accident i fell over and it ran into the house draken what can i throw at him to make him know to shut up Shh. quiet i'm still on i'm I making videos Shh. yes you did know Kids. Okay, so let's get this on the roll. I've got two bags of the Moroccan Nights. Now, I don't really want to open the bag until I'm going to use it because I'm trying to keep everything, if it's in a bag, bagged up just for cleanliness sake. No dirt, no dust, no cat hair, no dog hair. So, Moroccan Nights. Is that not gorgeous? It's like purple and green and blues. Let me see if I can find this label. It is called Princess, and it's by Lion Brand. It is 3.5 ounce, 100 grams, uh, 273 yards, 250 meters. It is a lightweight three, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, and I don't know if I can see that. I think it's calling for... I think it's just five millimeter. I don't know. I swear I'm going blind. I need new glasses so bad. But you can machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. So I got six things of that. Okay. And a couple more things that I have from my Joann's haul. So I did have a couple more of this in my other haul. So this is one that they missed. So this is the Super Saver Pulling. And it is berry. And I will just tell you the stats, even though I did in my other video. This is 236 yards. And it can make, I don't know. Let me see if I can show the. If you've never worked with pulling or know anything about pulling, there is what pulling does. I have yet, except for my Christmas, the mistletoe thing, where I wasn't even trying to, and it did that. Yeah. But I keep practicing. Okay, this has nothing to do with my yarn haul, but this is the other one that I showed you in my Joann's haul. So, I just don't know what I do wrong. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I mean, I kind of have it, but it doesn't go all the way into the Argyle. So, I'm getting better at it, but I'm still not there. But I keep buying the pulling yarn, and I'm practicing with it. One day, I will get that down pat, and I will make beautiful Argyle. Oh, blankets and sweaters. So I think I have like six of these. Seven. I don't even know how many I got in the other one. I don't remember. But this is in this bag here. So that one. Then I got from Big Twist two of this color here, which it's called eggplant to me. Let me get out of this darn bag. It's stuck. This is not eggplant. This is more like a mauve. 
But anyways, they call it eggplant. So, of course, big twist. These were on sale for $2.50 a scheme. So, yes, I got a bunch of my solid colors because I was running low on solids. So, it's 380 yards. It's six skeins to make a blanket, three to make a sweater, one a hat, and one a scarf. I guess depending on what size clothing you make, if you're making for a little one, you won't need that much. Some of my size, you're going to need more than three to make a sweater. I mean, I am shrinking, but slowly, but still. I think I will always think of myself as a fat person because I've been a fat person my whole entire life. And even when I think of clothes still, I'm like, that ain't going to fit me. That ain't, now I'll even say a chair. I can't sit in that chair, you know, because you're always afraid of breaking a chair. You're always afraid of when you go to sit, like you don't fit in it, you know, or this. And I can fit in them now and I don't have to worry about breaking a chair, but it's still... That's what's in my head. I mean, I've lived 48 years and almost my whole entire life, I have been heavy. I was a big girl growing up. I was a heavy teenager. I was a heavy adult. I've had a couple times in my life, like when I divorced, when my first husband and I went through a divorce, um, my first husband was verbally, physically, in every way abusive, okay? And messed my head up a lot. Um, I had to move in with my parents and I only had a destined Kira at that time. Kira was a newborn. Well, she was about four months old at that point when we moved in and Dessa was two and she would, that was like November and, uh, she, he, well, him and I split up. He left and why well, kicked him out? I should say, cause I came home from work and caught him in my bed with the 16 year old girl. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was a day I kind of went, um, I did a blackout rage cause I never had that till you become abused. So that day I snapped and I went into a blackout rage and apparently I beat the living crap out of both of them. And I have no recollection of it all. And that's how scary a blackout rage can be. But anyways, I remember he, I kicking them both out and I started throwing his stuff out the window. And I lived on a main street here in town on a second floor apartment. And, um, before I went on a rampage of throwing everything out, my mother-in-law, I called my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. So they came, my mom, I had called, she came and they all kind of came at the same time and they made me stop throwing stuff out the window. So I did not create a scene. So I started throwing it out the back. I had a big sun porch, like a built-in sun porch. So on the roof, I started throwing stuff out the roof, but at the same time I was ripping and shredding his clothes. I and he him. has this thing for, for, um, cassette tapes. Cassette tapes, like oh, no one are yeah. Draken. Cassette tapes really aren't even the thing anymore. But that man, oh, I mean, he's been in prison for a long time, and it'll be a couple more years till he gets out. I said Tiana will be uh, like 20 years old, maybe 21 till he gets out. She just turned 18. So I just say I destroyed everything. And um, my dad got me an attorney that day and paid to file for divorce. We went down and filed for domestic relations that day, blah, 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 blah. Needless to say, let me fix my headband here. He messed my head up. I had to do a lot of fixing me. Um, but I still always had that insecurity that he gave me. Um, and I was insecure to begin with to get with somebody like that. He was the bad boy, you know. I was the preacher's kid and I was bad. I was the rebel. I was just like, mm -mm, ain't doing none of this. No way, no way. And, um, because let me tell you what, being a preacher's kid, you would realize how much bullying you get being a preacher's kid. But anyways, it messed up my head and, um, yeah, I lost a lot of weight. I went on Herbalife and I got thin and I looked good and I still felt like the fat girl, you know? So moral of the story is when you're a fat girl, you always think you're a fat girl. And I always want to wear bigger clothes. I always feel weird wearing form fitting clothes. So, last two things from Joann's. Sorry I went off on my tangent. I do all the time. These were on sale, which is the Scarfy Light. So, this is the other colorway that I could get. The one that I really wanted was out. You know, I forget. It's that real beautiful pastel -y rainbow one. But this one is called Sunset. So, I think putting it up here blows it out a bit. Yeah, that's better to the color. So, I got two of them and the stats on these it is a medium four you let's see 
laundry. I don't know. Machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. It is 43% acrylic, 41% polyester, 9% nylon, and 7% wool. 349 yards, 3.5 ounce, 100 grams, and 320 meters. Yeah, I did say it's the sunset, right? Yep. And it is called Scarfy Light. So, beautiful. So, that is what's left of my Joann's haul. So, let me get this put over here so we can get into this box of Hirschner's haul sitting right here beside me. Let me put this stuff away so the cats don't decide to play with it because my cats see yarn and they're like, score! They're all kind of sleeping right now though, so I might be kind of safe. Let me try to sit up without trying to bump my thing. Ah. Okay, so this is like a medium box. It's not as huge as the other one. So... They had some stuff on sale. So I got, these were on sale, and I don't remember how much they are. This is a very scratchy yarn, so I would not make any type of wearables. But it's gorgeous. Is it? Look at that sparkle. It's like a rainbowy color sparkle. So this is called Holiday Lights by Department 71. Let's see. Focus on that. Not the greatest. So, let's see. This color is Gumdrop. It is a number four, 100% polyester. Which, polyester is usually really soft. I wonder if it's the sparkly bits that make it feel very, um, scratchy. Like, I mean, it's scratchy, but it doesn't hurt. You know. Maybe once it's washed, it'll soften up. Like, Red Heart, you know, it's kind of scratchy. And then when you wash it, it's nice and soft. Because I love Red Heart. I use it all the time. I don't mind it one bit. Um, so anyways, 100% polyester, 3.5 ounce, 100 grams, 262 yards, 240 meters. Machine wash, tumble dry, made in China, but distributed by Hirschners. So there is that. Floki, you're going to get covered in yarn here, my love. Let me try to move Mr. Floki here because he's sleeping right here beside me on the table. Come here, sweet pea. Come here, Dobby. Go back and sleep on Mama. You want to say hi, Flokes? You have fans on here. Everybody loves Floki, right? Hi, Lagitha. You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Lagitha is not happy camper because she decided while well, something was cooking on the oven. And Jim and Drake can do the cooking because I cannot right now. Um, they walked away and it was cooking while well, she decided to try to go up and she was going to help herself and burnt her paw. So she's on antibiotics. She has nasty infection in her paw and I have to clean it and take care of it. So she's not my friend right now or I'm not her friend, I guess. I'm, I, I'm only doing it for her own good, but she, uh, is not happy with me about it. So folks, you're going to go back on there and get covered in yarn. So anyways, I've got... Three in this color. Like, is that not awesome? And it has a beautiful sparkle in it. And this is Spearmint. So I was going to get some in each of the colors, but these were the only colors I could get. The rest of them were sold out. And there went my tea. I'm going to get her grab a drink real quick, guys. I needed that. Okay, so I got two of these in the jumbo. This is the Super Saver. It's just jumbo, but it's black light. I think, yep, it's black light. So I got some of this because I love that black and the rainbow. So I got two of those. Watch out, Floki. I got, well, I guess I gotta take these out because. These are in a colored bag. I got two of these, which are the McCall. This is the McCall colorway. And this is the Jumbo. Yep, it's called McCall. I know my, I know my red heart colors. Especially, I love variegated yarns. Like, I Drake in. I bought a lot of solids because it, you still need solids. But a lot of my stuff is variegated and self-striping because I just like multi-colors. I 
get bored, especially when I'm crocheting, it's the same color over and over. That's what tends to bore me more than anything. Oh crap, I forgot my, I, my doctor's, my chiropractor was just calling. I had a chiropractor appointment at 5.30. Crap. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I'll call him back when I'm done here. Oh, I so, for those that are not familiar with this, which I don't see who wouldn't be, it is 100% acrylic, machine wash and dry. Flies. I can't stand these flies. It's like it got warm and I started getting flies again. Every time you open the door, flies come in. It's so weird winter, guys. But anyways, this medium four calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook, 5 millimeter needles, and it says no iron and i don't know what the triangle is but that's crossed out too but it's just not ever beautiful colors there and yes guys red heart it, it can be scratchy but when you wash it it is soft i got two of these because this in the knitting loom when you knit this up oh my god this becomes beautiful this is Wildflowers Jumbo. So let me get the second one. I got two of these. So there are these. Beautiful. I absolutely love that colorway. Uh, folks, come on now, buddy. You're in my way. I'm just going to have to cover myself in yarn here, guys. That's not a bad thing to be covered in yarn now, is it? No. Okay, so I got these. I got three of them because this is a, you bought a pack of three and it was like whatever price it was. Um, Wildberry. It's Bernat Stripes. Um, let me see. Bernat Super Value Stripes. So let me show you. Look at that. Oh, like these are my colors purples and pinks. And it has like a brownie purplish kind of color in it, but that's okay. So this is a medium four. Uh, calls for five millimeter hook, five millimeter needles, um, 100% acrylic, 264 yards. And like I said, this is called Wild Berry Stripes. So I've actually really never worked with Bernat Super Value, so that'll be a new one for me. I don't know how that feels. And then I got this was, um, It's like Millen's, but of um, Hershner's wool. So I have no idea what kind this is, but I, I do know that it's wool. Um, and it was pretty cheap for this, but at least they match. I can use that gray with this and make something between the two of them. Beautiful. And last but not least, guys, this is a new one for me too. And it's the first time I've seen this on there, but it's called Scramble by Sundance and it was a five pack look at that is that not gorgeous I figured this is gonna make gorgeous hats in the knitting loom uh, let me see it is a hundred percent acrylic a medium four hundred and sixty five yards it's about all it's given me yeah that's about all the stats I can give you guys says, okay, for U.S., says use a size 9, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. Knitting, I can't see that. Yeah, it's a size J hook. It doesn't really give you a hitting, um, knitting thing. So that's a good substantial size ball. And it is absolutely beautiful. So that is what I got through Hershner's. That was... Some of it was on sale. Oh shoot, there goes my box. That was close. It kind of landed sitting up. So yeah, that are my hauls. And I've got to try to not let myself buy too much more. Um, and I did buy some more yarn because I had to get rid of a lot of yarn, like I said. Um, I'm, I salvaged a bunch of it, which I have a lot of scraps, which is how I'm using all my scraps to do my um, Everything Grannies 2023. Hi. Join me with that. It's going to be fun. Let's make a lot of grannies and see what we can come up with together. So, all right. I guess that's it. I have nothing else that I've bought. And hopefully we'll have nothing else that I'm going to buy. What the heck is going on with my 
my braid tail. Like, look, guys, from getting my surgery and dieting, my hair used to be so thick in the back. I was always thin on the top because of having um, my hypothyroidism. But this is how much hair I have, oh. literally. My hair is so thin, and I just touch it. And it's, I mean, that's nothing there, but usually when I do that, it will come out in a big clump just by barely touching it. When I wash my hair, oh my God, the amount of hair in a sink. When I brush my hair, the amount of hair in my brush, I don't know what to do. I'm using collagen. I know I should try to get the biotin. There are shampoos and stuff that are supposed to help you, but unfortunately with my diet, my body apparently is not absorbing nutrients like it's supposed to. I am getting my protein. Um... I just, my hair is really falling out. And I had asked my sister, because my sister really lost her hair too. She had, some of it had grown back, but not much. But she didn't have an issue with her hair thinning. I've had an issue with my hair thinning for quite a few years, where I've been very thin on the top of my head. And I've hid it very well for all these years, because I had thick hair everywhere else to be able to hide it. And now I'm my, even like my, my oldest daughter, Christmas Day, she's like, Ma, you're really going bald there. And I'm like, thank you. Look, look how my headband's just like poking up there. It's like, what the heck? It's supposed to stay flat and it does not. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, I'm going bald, guys. I know, and I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to have to cut my hair short. And next month when I get my check, I, as much as I don't want to, my sister suggested just to get a wig so I don't feel as bad. I have one in my cart. It's the same bright color red that I do, but it's long and curly and luscious, and I should be able to do something with it. So we'll see, because I am very scared of really actually balding because of my body not accepting and taking in the nourishments like it's supposed to. Um... Which means I'll probably eventually have to start getting um, infusions. I have to go to the hospital and sit and, you know, get stuff infused into me. My one friend has to get infusions because of the diet. So, oh, well, what are you going to do, right? I chose the weight loss surgery and I knew it was a issue that could happen. And it is what it is. Um, for my own health, I had to lose the weight and I can't get my surgery so I can hopefully be able to walk again. I like get all of the weight off. I'm getting there. I had shown um, the yarnivores, you know, my friends, the yarnivores, a picture of me before weight loss surgery. And I, I, I found that picture. And I was like, oh, wow. And I, you know, just to look at my face now and to look at me back then. And like, I have collarbones, like I can feel them and somewhat kind of start to see them, you know, and I just have skin like Jim Jim told me the other day because I do I need help bathing I need help dressing I need help with everything because when you have to hold on to a walker and you shake when you my whole body shakes like crazy when I stand up um, because it's just that painful and he was telling me the other day he's like he was helping me get dressed and he told me how much I just have all this wrinkled up saggy skin coming off my, my butt in the back of my legs and I'm like does it look really that bad? And he's like, well, no one else is going to see it. It's just me. I don't care. That's a nice thing with him. He'll, he'll love me with all my saggy, droopy skin, no matter what. You know, he loved me when I was almost 450 pounds, guys. So he'll be there for me with the uh, saggy skin and thin. My teeth are breaking. Yeah. All my bad. Like, I didn't have any on the top to begin with because that years ago had to have this pulled. But I have these three on. I have my, all of them on the bottom back here. I'm already missing two, but the other two that are there, they're broken. They're going to have to get pulled because there's no fixing them. The only thing holding this one all the way in the back together is the filling, but most of it around the filling is broken off. And I have one down here. It feels like when I bite down, it kind of, it has the same feeling this one did before it broke, which I think there's a crack in the tooth, but the only thing holding it together is the filling. So, yes, I know. My mama Verna, you're going to say... Well, girl, get your butt to a dentist. I will eventually. And I know I say eventually because I am the biggest. What's the word? 
the P word where it takes you, you know, you take forever to do things. Procrastinator. I am, and I am uh, to admit that that's one of my faults. I am a huge procrastinator. And my procrastination has screwed me more than enough times in my own lifetime. And you think I would learn to stop procrastinating because I've been screwed and I've had things happen that were not good or blah, 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 because I procrastinated. So, I know. But I, with my, in my own defense, there's only one dentist that I've got to, like, travel a half hour to that takes my insurance. And they are really bad. I mean, they're down in the Reading City and... It's just, I've heard such horror stories from that place. Nice. And I, I know I'm going to have to go to figure out what to do because eventually I'll have to get like partials made. But I'm not going to bother with that until like this tooth here. It like literally broke off and like there's still tooth up in here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to shut up. Like, you want to hear about my bad teeth from not getting And I take calcium. I take vitamin D. I take the multivitamins. I, you know, I, I'm taking everything I need to take. Plus, I'm trying to ingest food that has all the extra. Like, I make sure I eat healthy salads every day. You know, broccoli because broccoli has a lot of protein in it. And, you know, I have, I, I just eat, like, foods that are high in nutrition, trying to add to it. But my body can't grab the nutrition anymore because the large intestine that actually... Had the little fibers in the, you know, grabbed your nutrient because you, it grabs your nutrients in the large intestine. Well, that really doesn't get used anymore. It's just like my little pouch stomach with the straight shot, small intestine down to, you know, the shoot, the shoot, the poop shoot, you know. I gotta watch like my Jim's mom. She said that word on Facebook and they put her in Facebook jail for a week because she was saying something instead of, oh, shite. She said, oh, shoot. And they, like, because the word S-H-O-O-T, you know, I'm saying it low because I don't know if you're allowed to say that word or not. But, yeah, she got, like, Facebook jailed for saying that. She goes, I didn't say a bad word. I said, no, but you say that word now, and it's automatically associated with a bing-bing type thing, you know. Hey. All right, I'm going to get off here because now I'm done showing you my haul, and now I'm just blubbering because I don't get no one to blubber to all day. Like I, I told you before, I'm a lonely gal. I sit at home all day by myself. And I have my cats and the dog. And they do. They stay with me and keep me company. And they do, like, especially Safira, like, mur, mur, mur. she will talk to me. And we have full conversations. I have conversations with my cat. But the rest of them really don't talk to me unless they want something. But um, when Draken comes home, well, as soon as he's done with his homework and doing what he has to do chore-wise, he's on his switch with his friends and he plays games. At 9 o'clock, he has to cut it off on school nights because he will stay up all night and play games and sleep all day if he could. And um, then he's grumpy on school days because I can't get him up in the morning. So we cut him off. He has to have that, especially I make him take a shower because he's a boy. So he would never shower if I didn't make him. So every other night he has to hop in the shower unless he's done something to crusty himself up or make himself stink. But every other night he has to get a shower. So that means it's off at 7 o'clock. And, um, yeah. And then he has to go to bed. So, but on weekends, um, as long as he's not grounded or anything, I let him play with his Switch as long as he wants. Um, because I really don't, we're weekends, we're not going anywhere. And I said I was going to get off here, didn't I? All right, guys. I thank you so much for being here. If you have lasted this long through my rambles, I know some of you like it, some of you don't. I can't win and lose all of you, you know. I can't please everybody. But uh, if you are here for the first time, and if you don't mind my blah, blah, blahs, and you like the content, that, the yarny content that I have, thank you. Um, and consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you do get notified every time I upload a video. And give me them thumbs up. It really does help. It helps my channel, you know, get out there in the algorithm. I do have a goal for myself that... By Maybe. December 31st, 2023, I'll give you my I want to your, have hit my 1,000 subscribers. So I'm already a little over 500. And we can do this in one year because I see other small channels that just start. And boom, I've said in another video, like, 
what do I do? What do I do? Maybe it's because I ramble too much. I don't know. I do talk a lot. I mean, I blah, blah, blah about life, you know, and who doesn't have stuff about life, but <sighs> I should just have one video of life in general, but then I can't help myself because I always have some sort of story I got to tell about something and then it rabbit holes into something else. So, hey, we'll just get used to Trish the way that she rambles, right? All right. I love you, Saul. Leave me a comment because you're my friends and I enjoy getting to know all of you. And I do try very hard to make sure I respond back to each and every one of you. All right, guys, till the next one. I love you. Bye.